Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Sean Vig Fitness. And new guests every week on the Sean Vig Podcast. Okay, I hope you're ready for a big workout here, my friends. This is all body weight. No weights or machines needed. The first part of this will be a voiceover. Then it miraculously goes live. So make sure you're warmed up a little bit. Modify as needed. And it's very cold outside, so we're filming inside at Nick's Pro Fitness. Oh, and leave your comments below. Always check in and comment below. I love to hear those from y'all. Tuck in the shirt. Pull the strings nice and tight. And I'll narrate as best I can, but always... Pause it when you need to. Come to a crouch position here. Heels under the glutes. Shoulders back and down. Breathing in the nose and out the nose. And let's focus our energies. Focus our mind and our body for this really unpredictable workout. Okay, inhale. Bring those arms up and down. And we... Take those shoulders back. Shoulder rolls, a fantastic postural corrector. It also gets the energy levels up by aligning the body and letting the oxygen flow. Inhale up, exhale down. And then one at a time. Getting a little saucy here. Okay, pull the arms back and down a few times. We have the cactus arms. Now lace the fingers behind in the mudra and further expand the chest. Dip forward if you like. Hands to the lower back. Open up into the back bend. Back to the mudra. Arms down and forward. Remember, modify as you need to. This is a routine that... I pretty much made up as I went along, but it's something that I do quite regularly when I work out. These kind of flows are definitely a part of my routine. You can bring it to the crown of the head too, and then rise back up. I like to keep those shoulders back and down, and side bend, back and forth, arms up nice and tall, and extend to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, over. Make sure you share this flow with somebody who likes a challenge. And again, to the side. We're breathing into the movements. Inhale to the center. Then exhale, bring those hands down. Heart center, rounding forward a little bit. And then inhale, reach up into the back bend. Exhale, bring it down, having a good spontaneous time. Inhale, rise up, using our body to its greatest advantage. Down, chin to the chest, and then explode back up, stretching the abdominals. Pulling those hands down, side to side. And sweep those hands back and forth. Get some length in the spine. Flash dance. Oh, what a feeling. Get the bucket of water and dump it on me. Back and forth. Some great functional movement here. Okay, then popping over hands and knees position to the bird dog. Inhale, opposite arm, opposite leg. Eyes to the floor, tuck the chin, and make sure the breath is radiating inside and outside. Okay, there's that bird dog getting a nice swooping movement. And then we have the active balancing cat. Bring the elbow to the knee. Do as many repetitions as you can. You don't have to match me verbatim here. So do this as long as I'm doing it, and we'll all do just fine. Inhale out, exhale, elbow to knee, extending, and squeeze those abs on the way in. Now other side. Draw in and out, right arm, left leg. Also, the flow moves pretty quickly, so I want to hit all the high points. Elbow to knee, extend, getting those abdominals woken up, wake them up, and get the blood flowing. Okay, take it back and slide forward and do a modified up dog. Fingers down, we lift up, drop those shoulders back. Legs are extending back, we exhale forward, and then inhale, rise back up. Getting the body ready for the sequences to come, preparing it for what is to come. Legs are long. Inhale, rise up higher perhaps each time. You have the control. Keep those shoulders down. Moving those shoulders. Keep it loose. Little kicks in the leg. I keep moving my hands a little closer to me. 
And I smiled right there. Slide back down. Feel the length right into the swim. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Similar to the bird dog. But now we're diving into a classic Pilates exercise. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Working the shoulders and back and glutes. Press forward and then cobra. Shoulders back. Exhale, lower down. Still working on lengthening the spine. Unlocking the potential in the spine. Inhale up, perhaps all the way up into up dog, and then down. Inhale, lift the shoulders, engage the triceps, and then exhale back to child's pose. Inhale forward, modified plank with a little bit of a dip. Take it back and forth a few times. Inhale forward, exhale back. Bring it forward. Shoulders back and down, and then each time lengthen that spine further. Forward and back. I'm having a good time. I hope you are too. Now sweep it through. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Find your bearings here. Walking the legs. Relax the shoulders. And the face, the eyes are looking towards the knees and the ankles. So we have a nice released neck. Walk the feet forward, chair pose, press back, lace the fingers, arms come forward. Weight is in the heels, out of the toes, and then reach down, forward fold. Feel the decompression in the spine. Bend the knees again, chair pose. Smile at the camera, palms together, arms out. And dive down once again. Feel the release in the spine. Let the back of the neck be long and lean. Total body conditioning. Once again, chair. Tippy toes as an option. Tippy toe, tippy toe, lemon tree. Reach the arms back, lace the fingers, mudra forward, fold. Now keep those knees slightly soft. Expand the chest, draw the shoulders back, and the weight is in the toes. Drop the arms down. Can you stand it? There's the chair once again. Make it a flying chair up on your tippy toes. Balance all those beautiful bones in the feet. Moving all around to keep you stabilized. There's the mudra forward fold. Each exhale, dive down. Each inhale, lift the arms higher to the ceiling. Drop the arms. Stepping back. Plank position. A side bend or side plank series, rather. Lift the left arm up. Forward and back to plank. Inhale up. And forward, so adding a nice side bend to the side plank. Inhale, lift. Be as graceful and effortless as possible. Press forward, and we lower down. Chaturanga, hover elbows into the sides. Take your time or drop the knees to modify. Add a wiggle where appropriate. Inhale. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got emotional. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shake it out. Keep it loose. Once again. There's that side plank series. Inhale up, exhale, extend. Work your way up. These exercises need to be practiced. Practiced every day, working on mobility and control. Diving down, hover. Up dog, some power vinyasa flows. Keep the chin tucked a little bit. If the back of the neck feels tight, shake out the legs. All right, we must have a second camera. Bring the forearms down. This is the dolphin. Let's walk the legs. Definitely a much more challenging stretch, the dolphin. Also keeping your upper body released and moving towards the legs because we're really working the shoulders and back in the dolphin. Palms are flat. Get some movement within the dolphin. We're going to pop back up to the old down dog. Sweep the left foot forward, lunge position, line up the left ankle and knee, fix the blouse, arms up triumphantly, and then we lift all the way up to the top. Sinking down into the legs, inhale, reach the arms back, arms out to the sides, dive forward into an airplane. Hinging forward with the arms, set the hands down, step back, downward facing dog, right foot comes forward, plant it. Effortless movement. Inhale, arms up. Get the balance first and then come all the way up into the full crescent lunge, pressing the left heel down towards the floor. And swoop it forward into the airplane. 
makes one think of the movie Airplane, which is always a good thing, hinging forward and hands down, vinyasa flow. Kick the leg back or step back to plank. Take your time. Work on floating down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Once again, lunge. Shoulders back. Arms up. Be as smooth as you can. Hinging forward, airplane. Arms forward. Hinging with the fingers forward and shoulders back. Set the hands down. Down dog, right foot forward. Moving like a ninja. Arms come up. Lunge. Are we breathing? Yes, we are. In the nose and out the nose. Airplane. Ta-da. Hinge forward. Feel a length in the spine. Feel the challenge in your right leg. And it's that time, vinyasa flow. I'm going to switch the legs so I balance it out. Here we go. Hover, elbows hugging the ribs. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Lower back down, and there's our swimming again. Pilates, always changing it up. I have to surprise myself in these workouts, in my own personal workouts. Keep it challenging, keep it fresh, and I find it invigorating. Okay, sweep those hands forward again, lifting, lifting through the chest, thumbs up. What am I, the fawns? Stepping back to downward facing dog, then walk the hands all the way back, rising up, chin to the chest, keep the shoulders loose, a couple shoulder rolls, standing position, now dive back down, knees soft, and walk it out to plank. Again, left arm up, extend, push up optional in between. The side plank with side bend, and there's a push-up. Very challenging. Elbows into the sides, but it goes so beautifully along with our power yoga flows. Now, forward and down. This is a little wider swimming. It's called the starfish. Arms and legs wider, and go. Do as many repetitions as you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Working the back and the glutes. And reach back, up, and downward facing dog. Again, chin to the chest, build that spine, rising up, shake it out, shoulder rolls. Kick. (laughs) What is this, boogie nights? Diving down, forward fold, walk it out. Hover, lower down. Now this is the cobra mudra, or if you prefer the mudra cobra Lace the fingers, draw the arms back. This is a process pose, meaning that take your time getting into it. Make sure you push your, push your notes underneath the pink mat. So we're drawing the shoulders back. Legs can also come off the mat if you prefer. But feel it out. This is your workout. We do it together, but it's yours. Pressing up and back. Down dog. Left foot forward triangle pose line up the heels extend forward back of the hand of the leg or hand on the leg i call this the pete townsend swing and circle that arm around getting some beautiful mobility mobility in the shoulder pete townsend ladies and gentlemen out here in the streets (laughs) now extended triangle the right arm up and over And then reverse triangle, also called the revolving triangle. Huge twist. Extend the arm. Hands down. Step back. Down dog. Let's enjoy this on the other side. Right foot forward. There's triangle pose. Strengthen the legs. Hinge forward. And Pete Townsend. There we are. Magic bus triangle circles. (laughs) I think every yoga pose should be named after a... uh, Guitar rocker. Okay, extended triangle. Wiggle the fingers. Keep the tension out of the hands. Now bring the hand down. Inhale, lift the right arm up. There's a revolving triangle. Fantastic twist and stretch. Extend. Hands come down. Step forward. Chair pose. And let's twist it side to side. I believe we do 10 here. Pulling to the sides. Match up the knees the best you can. Exhale as you pull. Inhale. Inhale to the center. Okay. Let's prepare to go back to plank and open up. Side plank. Reach. Push up. Optional. 
up, extend, push up. Smooth, keep your body guessing, keep shocking it so it has to adapt or fall. Okay, press back, press forward and down. Once again, the mudra cobra or cobra mudra. Lace the fingers, open that chest. You will feel such a massive difference after doing this workout, especially poses like this. And you'll feel the difference in your posture when you're walking around during the day, doing anything during your days. Press up and back, down dog. I think it's time for one more triangle. Left foot forward, heels together, arms, and let's release into it. You want to dive and release. This time, extend and then reach up. So we'll leave Pete Townsend behind for a moment. Rise up, triangle, hinge forward, and then extend that top arm. Total pliability in your body. Ageless, ageless. One more time. Exhale, hinge with those arms. Always think of lengthening. And then there's a revolving one. Step back to down dog, right foot forward. And let's do that on the other side. Triangle. Left arm up, extend. Hand down and revolve. I practice this one quite a bit. So I suggest you do the same. It's challenging. I teach this in my live class a lot. This flow, this triangle flow. And they're getting it, but... It takes practice, best things in life. Earn them and then teach them to others. Okay, my friends, let's step back, vinyasa flow, and I'm going to switch to a live voiceover. It's been fun. All right, we're going live for this one, and we switch rooms, much larger room. Let's walk the legs a few times. I always say it, I'll keep the talking to a minimum, but who knows what will happen. Okay, let's keep these flows going. Inhale, left leg comes up, left foot forward, lunge, shoulders back, press the right heel down. Four reach throughs. Want to take it forward and back. Inhale, arms up. And keeping the legs in the same position, reach through. Two more times. In the nose and out the nose once more. Great way to really open up the abdominals. Lace the fingers, mudra, lunge. Now bring the right heel down. We're gonna dive into the mudra warrior dive. Unlace the fingers, drop the hands, press up, turn, oh, stumble, and we come back to the lunge. Let's reach forward and we'll step back to down dog. Other side, lunge. Get the foundation first, shoulders back, arms up. Four, reach through. Elastic core. Let it be very functional, very strong, very pliable. One more time. Reach it through, lace the fingers, mudra. Left heel down, dive. Hello. One more breath. Okay, drop the hands, press up, wobble, wobble, and there we are. Back to the lunge. Let's go through the vinyasa flow. Hands down. Effortless. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Okay, left foot forward. Let's do that again, a little faster. Lunge, four reach throughs. Press the right heel down. One more, one more. Take it through, lace the fingers, and dive further. One more breath. Hands down, press up, lunge. Step back, down dog, other side. Plant the feet quietly. Four reach throughs. Beautiful, left heel down. And once more, lace the fingers, there it is again. Back foot down and dive. All right, unlace the hands, press down, up, lunge, 
Vinyasa flow. Let's switch the feet so we balance it out. Now, kick it back or step back to plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Walk or jump the feet forward. Come on down onto our backs. Woo! Little core Pilates series here. Legs out, heels together, toes apart. Pilates stance. Adjust your strings. Arms here or hands in the back of the head. Ten leg lifts, keeping your lower back down. Here we go. Inhale, or actually exhale up, inhale down. Just taught these this morning to lots of groans and gasping. So you know it's working. Not like my counting, no, my counting stinks. One more time, up. Now grab that right leg, single straight leg stretch. 10 times, pulse, pulse, switch. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Rock it up, jump back, plank position. Four of those side bends or side planks to push ups again. Reach up, extend. Melt it down and then recover. Effortless movement, very light. Down, take it back, forward all the way down to the mat. And one more for good measure the mudra cobra. Palms together if possible. Shoulders back, lift with the inhale, lengthen with the exhale. Okay, press it back. Child's pose, knees wide. Take two breaths. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's slither forward into our up dog or cobra. We come through. Back to down dog, where all roads lead eventually to down dog. Left foot forward, lunge. Okay, shoulders back and down. Stagger the feet. Hi. I want to punch all those back there. I love this room. So many things to do. It's like a big playground. Okay, I'm talking too much. I'm stumbling. Okay, shoulders back and down. Stay here, or we're going to go from a lunge to a crouching tree. You inhale, bring the right foot up. The ankle comes to the thigh. We press down and back. Swivel the foot around. Back to lunge, lunge. Big balance move. Toy with it. Play with it. Here we go. You can always put your hand against the wall, but light on the return. Don't slam the feet down. Let's do two more or hold. Perfect for Christmas time. <laughs> Once more. Back to lunge, arms up, let's switch the legs. Bring the hands down, either jump or step. Okay, back to lunge, we have the right foot forward, left foot back, rise up. Stay here, or four of those crouching trees. You don't wanna overthink it, of course, it's a feeling. You glide through it. I'm clearing my mind, keeping it smooth. Two more. Oh, not clear enough. One more time. Very nice. Back to lunge. Arms up, step the left foot forward, dive it down, forward fold. Ooh, it takes some pressure off the legs. Okay, stepping back, downward facing dog. Walk or jump forward, down. Once again, steering wheels, Pilates stance or legs in tabletop position. This is a newer exercise. Combining Pilates 
with driving. Hands on the wheel, twist it side to side. Let's do 20 more. One, two, three, four. It's like cannonball run. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Head down for a moment. One more time, 10 of those leg lifts. Head down, hands here, or bring it here. One, or here, two. 10 times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's do 20 single straight leg stretches, a little faster. Here we go, one, two, three. Stabilize your center, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, we're gonna sleep well tonight. 18, 19, 20. Return to down dog. Up and back, take a deep exhale. Okay, snake push-ups. You can do down dog to plank and back or do the full snake with me. We're gonna do six of these feet wide. Relax the shoulders. We're gonna sweep forward, sweep it through, and then up, keeping the elbows in, drop down, press back. There's one. Let's do six. Total body conditioning. Three. Four. How about that? Two more times. Mm-hmm. What am I looking at? Down. And back, let's do one more. Let me smooth it out here. That's good. Now press back, walk the hands in, and 10 twists, up and down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Here's three, four, always rotating, always twisting, five, six, seven, Good. Hey, don't forget to comment below. Leave your feedback. Check in. Let me know you are here. We reach up, scratch the face. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Lunge. Not lunge, but lunge. Shoulders back. Up. Arms up. Cactus arms open. Press the right heel down. Back bend. Two more breaths. Oh, oh. Good, reach forward, hinging, pull the belly button into the spine. Let's step back, down dog, other side. I still, my lunges, see a little swaying. There's always, there's always some balance work. Open cactus arms, that's why we're doing it. The more we do it, the better it gets. The more practice, the more time put in. Okay, forward. Let's take our flow, feet back or the one leg up. Up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Okay, slide the left leg forward. Little pigeon slides, now follow my lead. We lift up, exhale, lengthen. Some of our greatest hits here at Sean Big Fitness. Reach up, step back, other leg. Open the hip right over the center. Keep it going. Ringing out your spine. Smooth all the way through. Oh wait, lift, <laughs> sorry. Pigeon gets me carried away sometimes. Back to down dog, other side. Keep going, keep going. Down dog, one more time, each side. Open up, slide that back leg, back. Get that extra stretch in the hip flexor. Right leg forward, lift. There's a baseball up there. 
There's many of them. Slide four. Nobody told me that. Downward facing dog. Bring it forward. Take that left arm up. Reach, reach, reach. Step the left foot forward. Lunge. Right hand down. Step back. Reach up. Down. Other side. Extend, extend, extend. Right foot forward. There's that lunge again. Different angles, attaching them together. Step back. One more time, each side. Reach up. Extend. Extend, left foot forward. Oh, great movement, great mobility, great dexterity. And down. Once again, up and over. That right foot, boom, forward. Whoop. Left foot forward, chair. There's so many infinite possibilities we can do. I don't know when to quit. All right, up onto your tippy toes. That's a good way to be though. We love the movement so much, we love moving. We love the feeling, the sensation of our bodies getting stronger, more flexible, more mobility, more control, more awareness more stamina that we cannot stop. We don't want to. Of course, we rest when we can, but we always look forward toward the unlimited possibilities. Okay, down dog, wait, no. The unlimited thesaurus. This is called the mudra, forward fold. Open that chest. Okay, drop the arms. I mean, I wrote down so many goodies. Let's come down seated position into half boat. One arm at a time, up, down. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three. Feel that challenging your core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hold here or grab the feet or ankles. We have extended bow, one of my favorites. I compare it to a, well, to a summer's day, temperate, but I compare it to a seated down dog. Shoulders back, open the chest. Let's do a little run back and forth. Or hold the half bow. Let's do eight more. One, two, a lot of balance. Three, four, practice. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, bring it up, back up, shoulders back and down. Now to a seated butterfly or set the feet down and do butterfly or we have this. Lace the fingers on the pinky toe side and drop the shoulders down. Now don't rest on your laurels or your hardies. Pull the feet in close with each exhale. Drop the shoulders down. It's a golden opportunity to reinforce that good posture as you're opening up your hips. Two more breaths. All right, back to half boat. Bring it up to chair. Use the hands or plop the feet. There we are. Should we do that again? Let's come down, half boat. Easy, don't break your tailbone. Use the hands if you need to, and then come up. This is great for getting out of booths at Perkins. <laughs> that reminds me of that. Okay, again, up. Smooth out that transition, smooth it. <sighs> Take the legs all the way out if you must. Feet down, plop. One more time. Effortless, effortless. Control that beautiful body of yours. <sighs> all right, step it back. Downward facing dog. Left leg up, hold or drop it back. Wild thing. Extend, extend. Other side. Back, leg up or open. Love this one. Again. Down and up. And open. Enjoy that feeling. Everything working together. Back up. Down dog, walk the hands back, little shake, 
Walk them forward to plank, press forward, down. Oh. Pulling the straps, reach forward, pull back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Classic Pilates, six more times. Is it three more? Yeah. Merry Christmas, four. Ho, 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 back. Down dog. Okay, stretch it out. All right, let's finish this flow off. It's been great training with you. And we're checking below. Left foot forward. Ah, we gotta do it. This is a warrior series. Open that left hip. Try to, try to take the knee right above the ankle here. Press that right heel down. The foot's turned in a little bit to protect the knee. We're stretching here, we're contracting here. Line up the heel, shoulders back and down, arms out. Hinge forward, side angle. Forearm gently rests on the left leg, and we extend. If you've been training with me, you know this is probably leading into the bird of paradise. Bird of paradise flow. You want to go further, hand comes down. Keep this right shoulder back. Stay here or take the arm to the back. Roll that shoulder back. Next option is the wrap. Left arm underneath, come around, open. Keep flexing that left leg. I like to do a little rocking here. Stay here or bird of paradise. Right foot comes forward. Am I on camera? I don't know. And we lift up. You can also extend the leg. I'm gonna focus. Three more breaths. I feel like Luke Skywalker on Dagobah. Concentrate. Okay, nice. Little Yoda. You will be. Bring it back down. Step back down, dog. Other side, my friends. Warrior legs. Strong, functional, built to last. Here we are. So go as far as you wish. I shall do the same. Down we go, my friends. One last vinyasa flow. Cleanse the palate. Always resisting with the gravity. Downward facing dog. Okay, bring the legs out. Straddle. Now, straddle's gonna be a problem. Keep them in closer. You can bend here. You can go to butterfly here or out to straddle. Get a lot of comments from y'all about that one, so I want to make sure you have the right options. Okay, shoulders back and down. These stretches, they can be totally sabotaged if your upper body is tight, if your shoulders are rolling forward. So just, it's not just your lower body, it's the whole body working together for success. Let's go side to side. So if that upper body is tight, it's gonna bleed down into the lower body and vice versa. <laughs> That's from Mad, 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 Mad World. That's right. Side to side, we're ready for blood sport. Oh, one more time, other side. Okay, back to the center. Oh, bring the palms together. Similar to how we started the class, but now we have the mighty straddle. And a burp. Exhale, cactus arm. Hands together, reach up and back. Relax, relax into that movement. Don't try to punch your way through. It takes finesse. It takes the breath and the movement working expertly together. And open. Do one more time, open. Okay, now let's 
Take it forward as far as you can go. I'm gonna do the little stuff with my hands. I like to keep moving, chipping away at spots. Actually, the cap, this is the more appropriate, this way. Forward, take the hands a little wider. Very good, I really hope you like this flow. I haven't done a longer one in quite some time, so this is very special for me. As I <laughs> grope in the, on the floor. Two more breaths. Bring it back up. A little blood sport. Boom, okay. Shoulders back and down. A few shoulder rolls here. This is one of my evening poses when I'm reading or writing or doing arithmetic. Arms up. Once again, sway to the right. Long stretch. Feel that beautiful tug down the side. Our lives will never be the same again after these kind of flows. It opens up the possibilities and it will enhance any other kind of training, anything. These flows will give you so much. Okay, talk is cheap, hands together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down, pull the arms into the body. Let's do that one more time. And exhale, down, pull in tight. Release the hands, they come up. Legs come together, shake them out. Fantastic workout, my friends. That is training. That is total body conditioning. That is what our bodies are designed for. It's me, Coach V. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, leave a comment below. Share it with everyone. Tag me at Sean Veek Fitness. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy holiday. And I want you to keep training with me in all different facets, including my new podcast. Check all of that out right here. Thanks for listening to the Sean Veek Podcast with new guests every week.